What's up America? This is your man Reflection, Mr. Gospel Guru himself. We are sitting with a very anointed lady of God, Mrs. Deborah West. Sister West is what I call her. Wonderful lady of God. If you ever need some inspiration in life, just give her a call. I'm telling you, she's got a word inside of her that'll change your life and make you smile. I promise you. So we're going to sit down and we're going to talk to her for a little bit. So get your ears ready. I, I guarantee you your life will be changed from just listening to this woman's testimony, listening to her talk, and listen to how God has just been a, a true blessing to her. So we're going to let her introduce herself to you. So just listen up and, uh, and get ready for an awesome interview. Sister West, t tell the little people a little bit about yourself and, and where you're at and who you are. Well, I'm Deborah West. Uh, I'm a former HISD school teacher. I've taught for 36 years and I retired this past December of 2008. And I am very thankful. Amen, amen. Very so, Scott, retired school teacher. Yes, sir. Amen. How does it feel to be retired? I love it. Yeah. I love it. I don't know any other way to explain this that I just feel truly, truly blessed and I thank God for the opportunity. Amen. How long were you a teacher again? I have taught at, uh, with HISD for 36 years. 36 years. I started teaching at 20 years, when I was 20 years old. And mm -hmm. I came here with teaching experience and I retired after 36 years of working with the district. Amen. And I'm very happy about that. That's truly a blessing. Yes, sir. Truly a blessing. Now, I know once you retired, it, it brought a, a life-changing moment to you. Yes. And uh, that's what we're here to talk about today. You know, yes. I, I met you uh, about seven, eight months ago, right? Yes, sir. And uh, yes. we clicked. We, we just had a wonderful conversation. Uh, very much. <laughs> yes, sir. I left there smiling. Yes, sir. And I've always remembered the name. Yes. You know, we, we, didn't, we haven't talked in seven months, but I've always remembered the name. Thank you. Um, and what we're talking about today is your, your life change, your transformation. Yes. And uh, let, let people know a little bit about where you were. Wow. They're probably not going to believe it by looking at this interview, but... We're going we gonna to show them some pictures and everything. Yes, sir. Talk to them a little bit about where you were in life yes, after you retired. Yes, sir. But, well, with God's grace, I was on uh, July the 15th. I was sitting here in my home meditating in reference to uh, just talking to the Lord as I do every day. And uh, the Holy Spirit told me to get up and go check my, go get my eyes checked. He said, go make an tell, make, make a eye appointment. And I said, Lord, I just got brand new glasses. He said, no, I want you to get up and go make another eye appointment. See, this is why it's important that you have a personal relationship with Jesus. So I get up, I make the eye appointment. I go to the doctors, find out that my left eye was fine, but my right eye wasn't. So the doctor there told me, see, I'm going to send you to the Eye Institute of Texas. They sent me to the Eye Institute of Texas. The specialist came in. He said, Ms. West, your left eye is fine, but your right eye is not. He said, but they never would tell me what was wrong. So he said, we're going to send a specialist in. So the specialist flies in. And she said, Ms. West, I'm going to cut straight to the chase. She says, your left eye is fine. She says, but your right eye, you have lost a substantial amount of vision in that right eye. And she says, because of your weight. Well, at that time when I walked into the office in July, I weighed 384 pounds. And I was stunned. Now, she, the next thing she says, if you do not start losing weight immediately, you will be blind in that right eye in about two months. Mm. And that was July 2008. Mm. And I was just truly, you know, amazed, just stunned by what she had told me. And I knew immediately I had to start doing something about my weight program. So I started my weight program August the 1st, 2008. And I weighed 384 pounds. As of today, August the uh, 11th, by God's grace, He's allowed me to lose 180 pounds mm. with 72 and a half inches mm. all over my all over my body, wow. and I give God all the honor and the praise mm. because I allowed Him in every area of my life except my food, and I know that in the Bible the Scripture tells us gluttony is sin. So no one sin is no greater or lesser than the other sin. Sin is sin, but I had to had to take a, a complete look at my whole life. And God knows exactly what to do with His children because He had to get my attention. And when you're losing your sight, that gets your attention. I mean, nothing is important than your sight. Nothing is more important than your sight except the Holy Spirit. And I thank Him for that. He gave me another opportunity to start a brand new life. And I want to give back to others. I promised Him. I made a covenant with the Lord. If you give me the opportunity to get back where I started from, at 150 pounds with my good health, Right now, I have not had any more hemorrhaging in the back of my right eye. 
much. I have not had any more swelling in the back of my right socket of my eye. And I haven't lost any more vision in that right eye. Mm -hmm. And I give God all the praise because it was because of my weight. Mm -hmm. Now keep in mind, I did not have high blood pressure. I never had high sugar diabetes. Did not have hypertension. And did not have thyroid trouble. Mm -hmm. But I was going blind in my right eye because of my weight. And the doctor explained to me it was because but the weight that I was carrying was causing my heart to pump the blood too fast through my blood vessels and through my veins. And when the blood traveled to the back of my right eye socket, I was hemorrhaging in the back of my eyeball. That's why it's important that you know Jesus. Mm. And don't be saying, well, I know the Lord. You make sure he knows you for real. Mm. Because I could have had an aneurysm in my brain and wouldn't have known nothing. I was in no pain, did not have any slurred vision or anything. My left eye had compensated for the vision in my right, so I could see everything still clear. But God was still taking care of me, and I thank Him for it. So when I got opportunity, I went back to the Word, and I asked Him, I took the vow of uh, the scripture of Romans 12 and 1. I beseech ye there, brethren, to I present my body as a living sacrifice, one that is holy and acceptable unto Christ, which is my reasonable service. And I stand on that scripture every day because it still is a struggle when you've had a habit all the majority of your life when you've abused food and want to eat 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 and all of a sudden you have to discipline yourself it's a constant prayer journey but i don't mind doing it now it's god it's god's will once i get to go i want to help others i promised him that i would help others I want to give back to the family members and people at our churches. And I just want them to tell them, I want to tell them my story. I want to give back because he's given to me. You don't have to walk around with all that excess weight. You don't have to have sugar diabetes. You don't have to have high blood pressure. You don't have to have thyroid trouble, arthritis, hypertension. We don't have to live with that because we're his children. All we have to do is believe and change our habits. And this is what the Lord has allowed me to do. And I thank him for it. Amen. I thank you for it. Right now, I only have a little bit over 54 more pounds to go. Mm. And then I'll be at the goal weight that I wanted to be. And I want to start telling everybody that will listen to my story. Because before, I allowed Christ in every room except my food room. Mm. I let him tell Lord, you take care of the bills, you take care of my relationship with my children, my family. But I never let him come, come in my food room mm. because I, I was taking care of that. Now keep in mind, I was killing myself while I was taking care of it, okay? <laughs> but I was going blind. Now keep, I didn't feel no pain. But now, he tells me, he says, now I'm in every room. And that's what we have to get out to everyone. We can't just sit God off to the side and say, well, Lord, you take care of this and I'll take care of everything else. He has to be able to take care of and be the Lord in every area. And he is that with me. And I thank him for it. Amen. I thank him for it. I'm up here jumping inside all of this. <laughs> I'm trying. All of this good, all of this good fuel oh, you didn't gave God. me. He's a good. Oh God, he's a good God. I love, I love it. You know, um, you you said a bunch of bunch of good things that uh that that's jumping inside of me. But yes. like you were talking about, allowing God in a lot of areas of your life, or every area of your life, every area except for one. And there's a lot of people out there that that do that. You know, yes. they'll they'll say, God, I, I give you my my life, or give you my car, my job, but I, I want to keep smoking. Yeah. You know, I want to keep eating. Yes. You know, I want to keep fornicating. I yeah. want to keep doing all these other different things, but I give you everything else, but just don't take this away from me. And, and like you said, that's slowly killing yourself. Yes. You know, because God wants to be in every area of our life. He has to be. Um, and, and, and that's what was jumping inside of me when yes. you were talking about yes. that. Um, you know, you, 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 you've definitely uh, come a long way. God. And uh, you know, a lot of people are not gonna believe you when you say three hundred something pounds. So we're gonna we're gonna show them a picture real quick because I don't think they're gonna believe. You. Watch this picture. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it right below there, just so y'all can look and see it's it's actually up. Yes. How, how much were you weighing in? Three hundred and eighty-four pounds. Three hundred and eighty-four yes, pounds. Mm -hmm. Ain't God good? All the time. Yes, he is. There's nothing he won't do for his children. Nothing. I, I got another one for y'all. Yes. Uh -huh. Nothing he won't do for his children. There's mm, nothing. Mm, mm. All he asks is that you ask him and then believe that he will do whatever you ask him. I asked, I've asked the Lord over the years, over the years. I said, Father, 